Well, you know, the um, AAP, I got introduced to the AAP when I was a medical student. And uh, my first encounter was actually getting to do a presentation, a uh, uh, platform presentation for one of the best papers. And since then, I've had the opportunity to network with a lot of great research mentors. I'm currently uh, privileged to be one of the fellows, uh, pre-applicants for the Rehabilitation Medicine Sciences Training Program. And basically, this is a track for residents who are interested in uh, an academic career in physiatry to sort of get their hands wet with research and also get some help with funding opportunities. So that's sort of one way that uh, it's helping advance my career. So I think it's a really important organization that focuses on sort of mentorship of uh, trainees at all levels and helping them advance their careers. So it provides a lot of support and tools for how to approach a career, especially in academic uh, physiatry or just physiatry in general. Uh, so I think it's really important to have those connections, the people that you're going to have as your colleagues for the rest of your career, uh, and also to meet such wonderful mentors. I would say that, you know, um, get involved. Basically, you know, be very passionate about, you know, the field and uh, find it, seek every opportunity to be involved uh, in the organization, uh, both at the regional and the national level. Also, one thing is I wish when I was a first year that I got involved in my state medical society and then also the PMNL state society, because that's one way where you really get to experience what goes on for our field at the state level. So definitely, that's what I would say. Get involved uh, early and uh, be passionate about what you do. So like Charles, my first uh, experience with AAP was as a medical student and I was invited to give a podium presentation. Uh, and I was very struck by the opportunity and I was especially impressed with how um, supportive these, the faculty they were themselves, very experienced researchers and obviously yeah. doing much grander projects than mine, um, but how supportive they were of my intention. Um, and how, how much they were kind of inspiring to me to my longer long-term career um, and just how welcoming the, the whole group was that really struck me uh, and has set the tone for my experience throughout AAP. So uh, the RFC is very involved with the annual meeting and making sure there's really wonderful content for trainees. So this is residents, medical students, and fellows, um, mm -hmm. as well as the larger community of AAP, and really focusing on making sure we have great content, uh, addressing all those different levels of where you are in your career. Um, so this includes a medical student roundtable, offering sort of early on advice. Yeah. We have a fellowship panel for residents planning their careers. And we also have more of a career pearls, which is sort of general wisdom from more experienced uh, physiatrists um, from different career paths. Uh, and, and all of these, as well as our social events, I think are always a big highlight for us, and we put a lot of energy into that at the RFC.